The theater department of a middle school near me was preparing for a production of The Little Mermaid Jr. A friend of mine was in the cast, he's an employee at the school, and he was playing King Triton. He came and talked to me about some ideas for building a trident because the reality is the one they had for him was a little bit too much of a toy in his opinion. He wanted something that looked a little bit better. So as we kicked around some ideas of ways that he could make a trident or his father-in-law was going to make it for him, I just started getting this vision for what it could look like. And all of a sudden, I just really wanted to make, nay, I needed to make this trident. It was on my mind. I couldn't let go of it even though I was at work. And I just really, really wanted to put this together for him. I asked him to let me build it, and much like Ariel asking for a pair of human legs, wish granted. Okay, so my general idea is I've got a pole. There was an old curtain rod that I can use. Cut the end of that off. Take an old piece of plywood. I'll see and see that and make some sort of a trident out of the top of it. Now, when it comes to the trident, I've seen Things like this. I've seen some that are just very plain, like that. Maybe have something going on there. Um, I might do a little bit of a mix between the two. I think what I'm gonna do is have one that kind of comes a little curve like that, one higher, little hooks off to the side, like that. I think that's what I'm gonna go with. But I think I'm also right here gonna make some sort of a, I don't know, some sort of a emblem or logo right in there and when this all thing, whole thing gets cut out of course it's going to look a little more like that with something there in the middle i'm not exactly sure yet During the build, I had two setbacks. The first was that I started priming way too late at night. I ended up running out of primer and the stores were all closed and I couldn't go by anymore. So that delayed the priming. And then in a Groundhog Day type moment, I was using the gold glitter spray and I ran out of that. Even though it was a brand new can, I thought for sure it was gonna be enough to cover it. I ran out and there was not another can of that same glitter within 20 miles of where I live. So I had to order it online and wait for it to come in. Another mistake that I made was on the Trident, you can see that it says King Triton, but you can barely read it because the font I chose did not cut very deep. And once I put the paint on, you really couldn't see it, especially from a distance, it was non-existent. So um, if I were gonna do that differently, I might still put it on there, but it looks pretty good without having the name show up. So maybe I wouldn't do anything at all. The last thing that I needed to do was deliver the Trident to King Triton himself. And I really hoped this was gonna work out for the musical. The Trident worked great and the show was awesome. I would love to show some clips from that musical. However, it is a Disney production and they don't really like when you post that stuff online. Plus it's a middle school production and I'm not a fan of putting kids on, on YouTube or any other social media platform without their permission. 
But I honestly wish I could show you the truly talented actors and actresses that were in that musical because it was great. While I didn't get to pour in any epoxy around that emblem in the middle, I still could do that because I've had a request to lend my Trident staff to other productions here in the area. I might do it, but again, there's always just that shortage of time. If people continue to want to use the Trident, I'm going to keep lending it out. Maybe I'll etch in the name of each school that uses it or each production that uses it and kind of make it something that just gets passed around. That'd be kind of fun. Or maybe I'll just keep it for myself, hang it up in the garage and have this random Trident hanging on the wall. Or I could put it in my office at work. That would also be very random and pretty funny. Until next time, go get lost in the garage.